and welcome to this new series which uh, which will be every Friday which I am calling Free to Play Friday. This uh, series uh, will be uh, focusing on the games that are free to play. Um, and a common theme you will see in free to play games is that a lot of them do offer in game purchases, especially bigger ones like this. Um, so first the basics, this, this character here is my character. I just left it as female because that was the default um, gender for your for the character so it's just like uh, I'll just leave it like that and I just changed their uh, like clothes okay that's nice and um, you get one of these every day or or every couple of hours then every you know next one is in eight hours um you get resources from these. This one's for your um, iron, which is uh, um, which is used to craft, you know, just about all the swords and daggers. So that's the one I upgraded, um, you know, first. I've upgraded it twice. Then you have the, your wood binners, which um, uh, wood's like the second most used item after uh, material after iron, or well, yeah, iron. And then we have Leather, which is probably the third most commonly used, and I haven't really used any herbs at all, really. Um, well, that's good. Um, I've been crafting some claymores. Um, when you've crafted a certain amount, so here once I've crafted um, one more, I'll unlock that sword, and you know it keeps on going from there. And um, there's even a point where if you craft enough. You'll uh, instantly just get get it, always have it uh, as a good sword, so you know, um, a good sword that will do more damage and uh, um, not have a lower chance of breaking. Um, and for some swords like this one here and this one here, you have to have you know previous swords to craft that sword so they are you they cost usually cost a lot more but they're usually a lot more valuable and um are a lot better in general um people will come into your shop um requesting items so he wants one of those staffs he wants those shields um and let me just show this staff so this staff uses one of these i don't know don't know exactly what it's called, but you uh, get them from sending get your um, warriors on qu on certain quests. Like this one uses one I haven't got the quest for yet. Um, so you will unlock new quests to unlock um, better items. Um, well, which one? Yeah, one's that one yeah so I haven't got the stuff to craft that yet so I don't typically just do anything with energy um, and to send your warriors on quests you go into the inn they have their own little quests which are like special um, this one requires one I haven't got the character for yet um, apparently they're not good enough for that yet um, yeah so depending on how what you know how good their gear is will show a different face so he's plenty ready for this and you can also see how good they are here that he's 760 but he's only 217 um and she's uh, she's only 227 while she's 894 um like to send your people on quest you click there and then you just like like that and you can send more than one person on a quest once you hit a certain level I usually tend to send my strongest and my weakest together um, but now when I say about that yeah, yeah, they're probably gonna die um, yeah, really you're not happy about that. Oh. so you and you yeah she's my strongest with that she's over 1000 <laughs> Um, just close that notification from YouTube. Uh, just send them off, and then if you send two people, well, let me just show it with this because this will only take like five minutes. Um, 
and you. Yeah, so that'll be done in five minutes, and I'll show you that later. Um, so you collect the item, and you can sell it to people, and you get a bit of money. Um, and these are all your different crafting stations, and the higher level they are, the you know best, the bear, uh, the higher level your people can be. Um, in here, you can access your character's weapons, tools, and armor. Um, so yeah, I've been working on upgrading a sword. Um, here you can see all the stuff you have, um, and hidden behind you know, my face is the option screen. A cup, I don't know what that does. Um, the gems in this game, you know, that um, in-game purchase you can do, that you know just speeds stuff up, and it's just like you know people with lots of money to waste just do that anyway. Uh, here you can, there's a city and that um, if you're part of a guild or whatever it's called. Um, other people can um, invest in like the iron mine and stuff uh, and when they get upgraded then you know this stuff in it will get better it's so, like for this one it'll cost 20,000 uh, gold to upgrade um, so let's see tra trainery and that only costs 1.3 so I'm gonna upgrade that and then it gets upgraded. Um, not much. That's not much to do with, with that really. Um, you can do with that. Um, yeah. So I know this is uh, also before I forget. You can also fuse your items together. Um, so let's take two claymores. Two regular claymores. Fuse them together, which will take a couple minutes. And then you'll get a upgraded claymore or whatever you put in there. Um, but here's the thing, the higher level they get, the more likely it will fail. So, but you, that can easily be remedied by if you upgrade it, you will unlock more slots. And then if you put multiple of that leveled item in it or any leveled item, in it, it will increase the chances of it being a success. Um, I forgot to show off well, you know what the chances of that was being a success, but I've got I'll be fusing again, so I'll show it off then. Hopefully, if I remember, this guy wants an axe. Also, I'm just gonna do this out. Uh, um hold on. Uh let's just go into the gauntlet. I wanna show this off. So there's trades, so you can trade with on people online um to get whatever you need in inventory zero. Offer the one purchase offer or purchase offer I don't know why that thing is, why that isn't working. But um you can also manually get into there by clicking this. You can request, offer and upgrade. You can see the city requests and then offers. So, you know, if you need anything just go in here, so it just be like uh do, do. let's see if this is there anything I I'll just like get for demonstration sake. Um, I'll just pay 5k for that and then you have that in your inventory so that when you have it um, you can like craft you know the item that you need. I wouldn't really suggest using it because it's a bit like um, in Pokemon where people will just like be like I, I, I'll i give you this really really common item for a lot of money. Anyway, oh so we can collect that and 
and it's been upgraded to good. Now if we take two good claymores, that has a 100% success rate as you can see down here and it'll show you what could possibly come out. So that'll take five minutes to fuse. Um, let's just grab that iron. I'll definitely suggest that after crafting, if you're if you can, just collect any iron that you have, so yeah, it's not um, so then it has time to restock while you're like crafting stuff. So when you send two people out, if they if neither of them gets um, killed or wounded or whatever it's called, you get uh, they will both have their separate um, loot. So here, if it was uh, if I only had sent one of them. Um, only if I only sent him, he would only bring back two. But now that I sent both of them, they both brought back two, um, essentially doubling uh, how much stuff I got from it. Um, and here it will randomly select which one you get. So you can get gold, you can get um, rare items, and so on. Um, and Oh yeah, uh, I can't show this off right now, but sometimes an NPC will come into your shop with a um, like a cart symbol above their head instead of this, and uh, they will uh, want you to craft a set of three separate items. So just like um, sixty-four claymore, well not 60, like twenty claymores, or well that. Nah. Where's usually more like ten or six to ten claymores, um, or whatever. And then you can either just be like, yeah, I'll do that, or come back later if you haven't unlocked anything. And this this is, you get rewards separately, so there will always be three items from what I've seen so far. Uh, if you only fulfill one of the item requests, then you get the minimum reward. If you fulfill two, you get the minimum and medium reward. If you fulfill all three, you get all three of the rewards, um, which, it, which will usually translate to some gems or something. Um, and yeah, also, also, if you, if I, if it is, this game is called Shop Heroes. It's on Steam, like, it, and as the title suggested, it's a free-to-play game. Um, I definitely would suggest ch checking it out if you're one of those people that likes, just like, just like one of those games where you click, click a lot, and it, uh, you know, just craft items like this. Um, it's definitely one of those games that yeah, I would definitely say is one of the one of those games that make that like tricks you into thinking you're actually getting somewhere when you're not, but it's still fun in my opinion. Um, and that's everything. I hope you enjoy this free to play Friday, and uh, don't forget to stay safe. And yeah, if you and if you like um, the idea of free to play Friday, definitely you know go down in the comments and just like yeah, I like this idea because whatever reason you have to like it, or if you don't like it, uh, um, I def you know some criticism would be nice. Uh, um, whatever you have to say, just don't be. Uh, one of those people who just go, like, oh, you're so newbie, blah, 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 and just like put every swear word in the English language in there, either, whether or not it uh, actually works, probably. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.